Everyone keeps freaking out on me. Maybe because the body things are in. I don't know. But anyways, it's Tommy Gorman here, and I just wanted to let you guys all know that, of course, people do still learn about fair game. It's in the PTS SP course, which you actually learn if Scientology feels you have some type of problem in Scientology, or if you're taking too long, or if you're not doing well, or whatever the case is, they want to get you to disconnect from somebody, generally your family members, or friends, or non-Scientologists, because they feel that if you're not in Scientology, you don't need to have anybody like that around you because they probably are going to end up messing your head up. So, in there they learn about tricks you, lights you, or destroy, which is the fair game policy. Well, people will follow L. Ron Hubbard policies if they're in Scientology because they have to. If they don't, they can be kicked out very quick, very easily. So, we have all seen fair game from Scientology. A lot of people have seen it personally. And I want to let you all know Scientologists will fair game you. It's that simple. If you are against Scientology, you're an anonymous, you are a critic, you are a person that opposes Scientology, per L. Ron Hitler, it says that you are a criminal. So you must attack the attacker. They do not sue to win, they sue to harass or ruin them utterly if possible. So, everyone, you need to be very cautious realize that Scientology will completely lie if they need to they're the type that will attack somebody and then they'll jump back and say I didn't touch them officer and they'll have three Scientologists that weren't even there testify and say we saw the whole thing and this person with a mask on attacked our friend that's how Scientology works when I used to pick it for Scientology Jeff Kuros, hey Jeff, how you doing? So I know you're not doing so hot because you look like you're ready to die of a heart attack. I'm sorry to see that, but whatever. So he would say, hey, you know, get close to people. Our goal is to get close to those, the guy with the person that's picketing, whoever it may be, whether it's Peaches Poo, Christy Walker, whoever. And we want to get that person really close and in a circle kind of a deal, bump into that person, and then we jump back. And then all the Scientologists that are around say, hey, she attacked this person and try to get her put in jail. Whether it's he or she, whether it's a guy or girl, it didn't really matter to Scientology because SPs are SPs. doesn't matter a man or female, woman or child. doesn't matter the age. doesn't matter anything about them, period. Okay? So, everyone, anybody who thinks, oh, we must be nice to the Scientologist, well, guess what? They look at you anonymous as SPs. And an SP in Scientology's opinion is a piece of shit. You're a piece of crap. If you're an SP, you're evil of all evil. They're told that the SPs and SPs rape babies that will kill people. That's how dramatic it gets. So Scientologists do believe that we're all SPs and you'd be amazed at what they might do. So you can sit there and be little nice people and be like, oh, well, let's be nice to the Scientologists even though they're calling us baby rapists or whatever. Well, if you so choose to be someone's little bitch and kiss their ass, that's your choice. Me personally, I don't take people's shit. If a Scientologist treats me like a piece of shit, well, he ain't gonna get something back in return nice for me, I tell you that. I'm sure as how I'm gonna treat the person the same way they treat me. So, there you go. Treat people the way you like to be treated. And if you're a Scientologist, well, Aaron Harvard stole that saying from numerous smart people. But that's one of their books. It's the way to happiness. Treat people the way you like to be treated. So Anonymous, just realize Scientologists think you're a piece of shit and you're SPs in the books. So you can be as nice as you want, but as soon as they start being shit faces to you, don't feel like you can't stick up for yourself. And I would always tell Anonymous and everybody else out there, keep doing a good job. Don't get violent. There's no need for violence. Scientologists are very violent. There's numerous Scientologists that have in the past and the recent you know month or so have attacked people and turned it around and try to act like the other person attacked them and have fake witnesses and that kind of crap which is pretty chicken shit if you ask me but hey that's what you learn how to do when you're in Scientology and you're dealing with SPs because I was told a similar thing when we're picketing or whatever we have three Scientologists bump into the picketer jump back and all the Scientologists will say hey she hit him or whatever assault and try to put the person in jail. So, Anonymous, just be aware of that. Don't be taking anybody's shit. And I don't want you guys to get in any type of physical confrontation. 
If the person needs to hit you, get it on camera. Let them hit you. Call the police. Put them in jail. Put them where they deserve to be. They're a criminal organization, and they need to be put in jail, certain people. So do what's right, and don't get into a physical confrontation with any of these morons, because they will turn around and say you attack them, even though you have a black eye, and they drive away laughing with no black eye. They'll lie. They'll have 10 Scientologists say that you assaulted them, because that's how Scientology works when it comes to SPs. We are all SPs according to Scientology. Don't feel bad about it. Feel good. If you're an SP, you have honor because Scientology is an evil cult organization business. And for people to fight up, fight back, and say what they got to say about Scientology is pretty ballsy and pretty cool. Hey, Tori, what's up, my friend? And guess what, Magoo44, Tori? Our birthday, of course, as you know, and now everybody else is going to know. Our birthday is on the same day. Me and Tori's birthday is June 27th. So happy birthday, Tori. I know it's a month early, but I want to wish you a happy birthday. And I hope that I get to see you at the next picket. And I will see you guys on that big old picket that's happening somewhere in Washington. I'm going somehow. I just got to figure out how to get a cheap ticket, I guess, and make it happen somehow. So I will see you guys then. Anonymous, keep going. Guess what? I just put a funny little video I just added today. It's uh, on the date of it would be May 17th, and it's the same date when the girl attacked the blue hair anonymous girl. And when that whole thing happened, after this girl attacked our anonymous friend and lied and said she attacked her and got a Scientologist to lie and say that, you know, oh yeah, I saw the whole attack and she got ass my friend got assaulted. And Scientology lied and lied and lied. Well, guess what? This stupid girl that attacked my friend, she was a dumb shit and backed up because she had all of us looking at her and me talking out loud and stuff. And I guess she was nervous and she reversed into a parked car. I have it all on camera. And everyone's sorry that I didn't get on earlier. I actually thought I already put that on there, but I realized that I didn't. Uh, I just checked it out today and realized that that funny part wasn't on there. So now it's on there, everyone. So check it out. It's kind of funny, and there's a guy named Jim who acts like he just hired this girl to be some type of something for the event. Well, guess what? Scientology does not hire outsiders or non-Scientologists, especially for a Dynamics event. Doesn't happen. That's bullshit. She's a damn Scientologist. So is a little fruity that was in the car with her. He looked like he was about 12 years old. The guy who lied and says, Oh, I saw the other anonymous girl attack my friend. Which is a bunch of crap because he was in the building. God knows doing whatever. Probably chaining on to Elron. Elron. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Elron Hitler. You know what? I'm glad that Elron Hitler died with psych drugs. And I'm glad that he's no longer here because he was a fat, drunk, wife beaten psychopath who discriminated against people that were non Scientologists, hated psychiatrists, and hated gay people. And hated anything about anything besides his own little crazy cult. And he had mental problems. So Elrond Kittler, I hope you rot in hell, man. Because, you know, you ruin a lot of lives. And it's not cool how you got a lot of nice people in this crazy cult. And they actually, these good people, think they're saving the world. And now they're out trying to attack people, good people like myself. And other good anonymous people that I know. And doing their whole thing. But you know what, Scientology? If you want to come physically attack me, bring it on. I'm waiting. I'll put you all in prison. I'll have a good time. Come take a swing, but you know what? That's fine. I'll see you guys soon. I hope everything goes well. Anonymous for San Francisco, keep rocking, keep kicking ass. Anonymous around the world, thank you for everything you all are doing. And Tori, I love you. I'll see you soon. Have a great day, and I will call you tomorrow. I'll see you soon, Tori. All right, see you guys. It's Tommy Gorman, and I will see you all very soon.